Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are looking at what 2019 has in store for us in love. So we have eight tarot decks before us. Deck 1, Deck 2, Deck 3, Deck 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Take a moment to choose a deck that resonates with you. You may pause the video if you need to. Uh, you may choose uh, one uh, a deck for one particular person or one particular situation. Or you may choose the deck simply looking at your love life for the entire year. So the way in which we're going to do it is we're going to look at the four uh, quarters of the year and what energy and what love has in store for us for those four quarters. And I'm going to go right ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, the question we're asking is, what, what can we expect in love in 2019? And the way in which we're doing this is uh, we are looking at the four quarters of the year and we're looking at the energy and what we can expect in uh, the four quarters of the year. We're looking at what we can expect from where we're sitting at right now. But this is obviously something that we can change along the way. And it's something that we can change in our manifestation and in our prayer and by just changing our own vibration. So none of this is set in stone and it can actually stay. Uh, it can actually stay the way it is if we allow it to be this way, if we don't change anything about ourselves. But if we do change something about ourselves, then we will actually find that it will be different So we can begin, um, for those of you who've chosen this uh, deck here, we're looking at the first quarter of the year. So we're looking at January, February, March of 2019. And what I see is that you start off the year uh, with, with an option, with an option of love, with the decision that you need to be made. But you begin in a very, um, you begin in a, from a place where you're quite empowered you are able, the energy is right to begin a new relationship. The energy, you are prepared, you are ready to begin a new relationship. Uh, you you are, the, the, the energy is fertile for um, a successful new relationship. But at the same time, there's almost this expectation that you can't have it all, even though you, you can. And even though there's this feeling that, you know, you are ready and you you can embark in this new relationship, this new beginning, you are uh, this new course of your life. You there's also the sense that this you, that maybe happiness, true happiness, is elusive and it's not really there. And you need to make a decision about love. It's as if um, you know there's so many ways of reading this because this applies to I'm reading this for everyone, not just people who are in relationships, but people also in who are single, people who are not looking for love but are still. Um, watching this reading and what I see here is that there is an option for you in terms of love in in the first quarter of the year so uh, and uh, that you have a new beginning that there, that you are in a in a space where you can create something really beautiful in this love and and in this love that you if you choose to, to have it even though you may have some fears about the, it um, not really planning out the way that you would want it to and I feel that uh, you just need to be firm here. You need to be firm about your boundaries, firm about the decisions that you take and be clear about what it is that you're willing to accept and what it is that you're not willing to be, to accept. So what I see here, it's, it's more like you are choosing not to, um, you're choosing not to be 
swept away in love. You're choosing to be decisive in love. And you're not, uh, you're a little bit um, almost not believing that uh, that true happiness does exist. And so you're a little bit cautious. And, and this is why you have this energy here. For those of you who are in relationships um, and, you know, there is somebody in your life, this is also, can also be a card of pregnancy here. Uh, you don't have to be in a relationship to, to be pregnant, but it is, uh, there could be a pregnancy here. There could be a delayed uh, marriage here. Uh, there could be a delay in marriage. So it might be that you're planning to get married, uh, but in fact, you, you'd become pregnant uh, before and then you decide to wait and, and, and this is delayed. So this happiness and this love and this family situation comes but it comes a bit later and there's a decision to be made and and in order to make this decision here you need to be very firm you need to be very clear about what it is that you want and what it is that you will not accept if you're single there's a good chance that you'll be able to that you'll meet somebody you may meet somebody who's a professional um somebody who works with the law or with medicine or in an official position uh, somebody who's very good at, at, at speaking and giving speeches, perhaps, or, or um, yeah, somebody who's quite incisive, analytical in their thinking. And you'll need to make a decision about whether you go ahead with this person. Uh, with others of you who are, you know, in relationships that may seem as if it's coming to an end and you're not sure about what it is that you need to do with it, uh, what I see is that there is a chance that you can revive this relationship. Uh, this is if you're living together, if you are together, um, there is a chance that you could revive this relationship, and uh, but it would need you discussing it. It would need you uh, giving good thought to the discussion and putting your cards on the table, being very clear with each other about it. But there is the hope that you can develop this. Um, this card here, the Empress has the um, the effect of being able to sway uh, the, 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 the reversed Ten of Cups. So the potential is there to be able to create. And uh, there is energy here. You know, it's not a situation where there's a lack of energy or there's no movement. There, There's no stagnation here. There is movement here. And if things are not so, go so well in a relationship, you can actually change this. If you're in a situation where you are, uh, you are, you are, you know, expecting, you're hoping to hear from somebody, and uh, you not hearing from them, well, I think that uh, in the first three months of next year, of, of 2019, you're gonna find that you'll need to make a decision about whether you speak to them or whether you cut them away from your life, um, and you start to recognize that you, in fact, are fine by yourself, that you don't really need that person to be happy, and that you can find happiness in some other area of your life without actually him or her being there, but that, you know, th that happiness in love it can be elusive but that it can be uh, restored or created in other areas of your life and um, you'll need to make a decision about this I don't feel that uh, if you're waiting for somebody that this person will come back however what I do feel is that if you are in a situation where uh, you are in a love relationship uh, and you're working through things that you have the potential to make it be a quite a powerful quite a meaningful uh, three months for you okay so moving on into the next three months of the year here these cards are for um april may and june okay and so this is what you can expect in april may and june and what i see here is that um there is some kind of foundation which you were not able to establish in in the first three months of the year that you wanted to establish or you had the feeling that you could establish something and it wasn't really taking off it wasn't really going anywhere and that leaves you to be quite protective and defensive over what it is that you what is valuable to you it leaves you feeling that you need to protect something it leaves you feeling like you need to protect what you've invested into a relationship or what you've invested into yourself and that you you need to really uh, yeah protect that you're not going to be uh, falling all over the person you're not going to be swept away uh, as you could as there is the potential here to be swept away you're not going to really be swept away in the situation you're going to be free um, and clear about what it is that you want and you're going to be putting yourself first here and this is largely due to the disappointment that you had about not being able to lay a foundation in something and I think that this um, brings you some success like this is a, a successful route to choose this it's standing up by yourself 
defending yourself is actually the route to take in this situation. And that is the advice given to you. Because if you do that, you will be successful in your undertakings, whatever that is. I do feel, however, this will bring great changes in your life. And you may, those of you who've chosen this uh, pile of cards here, may find that uh, the you know, that the months of April, May and June may bring huge changes in your life. Maybe you will decide to move. Maybe you will be leave your job. Perhaps you will uh, decide not to uh, stay in a relationship at this point. Perhaps you, you would have had enough here because things are not getting off the ground as there was the impetus and the, the potential to at the beginning of the year. And so then you decide, well, you know, I've had enough here and I'm just moving on and you are successful in doing so. And doing so liberates you and it, it, it is actually a much better choice for you to make. And uh, But it does come with huge changes. And I, I don't feel, I feel like, you know, if you actually... Uh, these changes are not so devastating as it can be sometimes with the tower card because it's right here next to the six of wands and I feel that because you'll be standing for by yourself and protecting yourself uh, you won't be so vulnerable in the situation you won't be so hurt in the situation here so in the next three months of the year what we have here so we are um we are now looking at July, August, and September. And this is the energy for July, August, and September. So I feel like the worries that you might have uh, in, uh, might have ensued from this situation here where you've had to stand up for yourself, you've had to step away, you've had to protect something that, you know, that you have to protect your resources, you have to protect your well-being. And um, the huge changes that came about left you feeling... Um, like you might, it left you worried, it left you concerned, it left you with a sense of dis-ease, dis not disease, but um, you're not at ease in the situation. And I feel that your concentration after that will be rather very much of, um, you know, your financial affairs, also taking care of your home life, making sure that you are nurtured, making sure that you are well looked after. And I feel that um, if you focus at, in the, in that part of the year of um, July, August and September, if you focus on, on money, if you focus on your career, if you focus on your studies, if you focus on making your material life comfortable and, you know, perhaps you, you were living here in a relationship with someone and um, that you were planning on maybe having a baby or something like this and then here you've actually, uh, you needed to make a decision and then here you've actually made that decision and you decide to stand back and this has led to you having to move out, uh, etc., or move out of the place where you were inhabiting, co cohabiting. And I feel in that case, if, if you're in that particular situation, then what happens here is that you really are spending time developing your home and um, ensuring that your environment, your home environment is nurturing and giving you what you need. And I feel that you're processing some of the pain and the hurt that you would have experienced that you were too shocked to experience here. Um, and and that, you know, you kind of, you experiencing this, it might also be if you not in a relationship with someone and you haven't really had somebody coming in your life, you start off the year quite hopeful. And but then what happens is that there are some huge changes that take place in your life and you're not able to, you're not so stable, your stability is impacted in some way. And as a result, you become quite um, defensive or, or quite distrustful, or you're holding others uh, back, you're holding back from others, because you are focusing on your own success and what is important to you. And in that case, um, that year, it's like, it, this has been kind of a bit of a, um, a bit messy for you in a way. And you started off with a lot of hope and that you need to kind of nurse your wounds as a result of that. Because I feel like here, this is very much nursing your wounds. This is very much uh, getting your 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 wounds in perspective and, and saying, okay, well, I'm not really going to allow this to get to me. I'm going to work at that. And there you are taking control here. Uh, you're taking control here and you take care of your finances. You're taking care of your well-being. You're taking care of your studies. Everything that's material is, uh, is here you are in control of it. And as a result, you, you benefit from it. You have a reward. You have a gift. You benefit from it and you find something that you you find a value in this that you were not expecting. It brings you far more happiness than what you were hoping for. And even though we're talking about love here, the we, you, you're in this part of the year, in July, August, September, it's like you find that love is, is not the answer. But what really is the answer here is um, you focusing on your career, focusing yourself, focusing on your home. And uh, as a result, you, you have some kind of fulfillment there. If... If you, if this is pertaining to a love relationship, if this is does pertain to uh, some kind of situation with, um, 
with with you in terms of um you know your love like perhaps you and your partner were planning on having a baby but then it didn't really happen as you expected to or you know maybe there was a miscarriage or something like this uh this this is quite hard to say but this this can actually uh refer to something like that in this context here uh and then you feel like you know he's not really there for you or she's not you know really there for you uh what and then you know you need to kind of find your way through this and you need to have a lot of courage to come through this but it's been quite devastating it's here that you'll be nurse, nursing those wounds it's here that you'll be fertile again it's here that you may actually find that you could be pregnant again and uh, that it, it it is a possibility it's here where your health is 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 in a much better state or you're working really hard here to bring your health in a much better state because you've been through the ringer you've been through some hardships you're nursing yourself if this is just, you know, you by yourself and you're not in love, you're not meeting anyone else, I feel that uh, the, the third quarter of the year is very much about you focusing on your well-being, about you focusing on uh, what it is that is important for you and what it is that will bring you further in, in your situation. And working a lot with old wounds, working a lot with things that happened back in, a long time ago to be able to find a gift within yourself to be able to move forth and I feel like a lot of you are already doing this in fact here so in the last quarter of the year and in the in um, October November and December what can we expect so here I feel that you will still be working on yourself you will still be working on you know the, the difficulties that you would have experienced here um the um you'll you'll still be working on, on your emotions on your well-being on your yeah you'll be working on on you basically and i feel that uh you are still in the process of doing that that you haven't actually reached the point where you are healed and where you are in fact uh, completely recovered from what's ever whatever's happened here but you are still in that process and i feel that um at this point um you know seeking counsel like here you're working very much inside of you and working very much on your finances and you know your domestic environment but i feel like here you will be reaching out for some help and you may be um you know going to uh, some kind of uh religious person to talk to them to to guide you or some kind of guru or some kind of mentor or, or you could actually be not being able to find your way out of this like thinking okay you're making a lot of progress here but then you don't really it's not happening fast enough and so you you seek out guidance from another person and this would actually be of, of uh, help to you i feel also here that you recognize that you put a lot in to this into yourself that you put a lot into your well-being and um uh that you just need to wait until you can reap the rewards but you are aware of this and this gives you kind of some kind of solace here and i feel that um come the end of the year you may be uh facing some kind of heartache at the at the hands of somebody who's being really stubborn or being really difficult but it's not it's a very temporary fleeting kind of thing it's not something that stays with you it's not this kind of hardship that you've been experiencing here uh or or that you might have experienced here it's more like you know like something disappoints you that this person uh this person actually you know does something to to basically it it this person really somehow disappoints you uh even though you you don't really know why or you know uh how um as to it, it could also be that you are sad about things not happening about perhaps things not working out the way it should have like you're reflecting back here at the beginning of the year at uh how this could have been and um how this could have been here and and what what choices you had here and what could have been and you're reviewing the year and you're reviewing where you're at and um i feel like at the end of it you you may actually uh there's like two options here it may be that you uh, you suffer some kind of disappointment by the hands of somebody who's quite stubborn alternatively you you having come through this and you are still committed to your healing your well-being and you're seeking of help outside of yourself and you you have this hope because you know all the investment that you made in yourself and i feel the disappointment that you have is quite small but it it's like kind of needed in order for you to recognize that you are the your own powerhouse that you have everything that you need here yeah and that you can actually look forth and and plan ahead 
and uh, and be successful there's quite a, a, a strong sense of your own success in this card here and your ability to look forward into the year with with a great deal of of um, success so I'm not seeing that as the year progresses that you will find love although I do believe that you will have love in the first three months of the year here and um yeah, and you start off on a good note, you know, you start off with the Empress and uh, you, you in the line of tarot, you actually uh, progress because uh, the Emperor is a card that comes after the Empress and you, you have made that progress. You have actually uh, become more firm. You've become more um, solid in your outlook. You know what it is that you want and you know where it is that you're going to. And I feel that any of these disappointments that you have in terms of love here, is actually or in terms yeah in terms of love is actually going to be fading away and you you're going to end off the year on a very high note and even so you know i the what, what i want to say here is i'm getting a strong sense that this person that you start the year with the person that you begin the year with you're not going to be thinking about them at the end of the year but they're going to be out of your life already or they're not going to be a focus for you because they they haven't been they've been in your life but they haven't really um been there for you you know it's not like they they've actually uh, given you something and it's like you've been like there's this promise of something good but I feel that they 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 don't really have your best interest at heart here and this is something that you recognize as you go into the year uh, for, that's for those of you who are in relationships and of course it's not going to apply to every one of you um, and uh, you know the best thing for you to, to know about your situation is to do a private reading um, but the but, you know, I'm trying to look at the overall energy and the overall energy is that in the first half of the year, you're raring to go. You have the clarity that you need. You need to make a decision. And but you are aware of the fact that you that true happiness can be elusive. This the energy for the from um, April, May and June is basically that, you know, you need to protect something of yourself um you but and you you need to be focused on your victory in the situation and there's big changes coming that you need to uh take in your life to to improve and then the third half of the year is basically uh you know you're working on that you're focusing on that you nursing your wounds you working on making yourself stronger and you have the reward for it here you know you have the reward here you have a reward here and here you have just you know you're the empress so i feel like and you have this clarity so i feel that in yourself and in your ability to be able to express yourself and at the end of the year you have also here this guidance that you need and the sense of hope and knowing of what you've invested in what you've created and you have this absolute solid focus going into the following year so these are not really negative cards these are not really um yeah it's not saying that you are going to go ahead and get married and live happily ever after and not necessarily but the, yeah they're showing me that you can create all the happiness that you need in your life um and that you don't really need this other person and if you choose to be with this other person if you are in a long-term marriage or relationship what i feel here is that uh, basically um you're going to be working with yourself a lot you're going to be taking care of yourself a lot and you know perhaps you may renew your vows here you may think about actually uh taking things to the next level here but um I feel that, and, and and you recognize that the investment that you made in your relationship has actually been worth it, and that gives you hope and get, makes you happy. And but I feel like that that this person then that you're dealing with is actually quite stubborn, and you need to kind of get used to their ways and their being. You need to almost accept that you know they you have to accept them the way they are, and this causes you some kind of heartache here. So I think that's it for those of you who've chosen the first um, option here. I wish you all the best in your love life for the year 2019 and um, may everything work out uh, for you in the way that you, you desire. So for those of you who have chosen this stick here, the question we're asking is, what is uh, what is going to happen in love for us in 2019? What can we expect in love in the year 2019?
And so those are for the first half of the year. I'm putting some of these cards back because it just doesn't feel right. take a look at the first uh, set of cards up here and uh, and then we're going to take a second look so this is for the first quarter of the year what can we expect in the first quarter of the year and the cards wear like this actually hang on So here we have a situation which could have been an actually an excellent um, scenario, which feels like it is it, it should come to an end where the, there is a decision here that needs to be made, where you may be bringing a relationship to an end. Um, whereas what one has one has not realized is that within this relationship or within this love situation, there's a lot that you've built up here. There's a lot that you've built up in order to be able to get it to this point. Uh, it's just not at this point where you are completely satisfied as yet. And so there's this um, chance of an ending here. You're thinking about whether to walk away or perhaps there has been a breakup here. Uh, that is for those of you who are in relationships. And what I see is in the first quarter of the year, you're actually going to be working at, at you know, going back in this relationship, seeing where you've gone off the path and, and actually working on it and nourishing it. And you are going to find the happiness that you are looking for. For those of you who are not in a relationship and you are single and you're asking about your whether you will find love, there's no one in your life at this moment, and you're wondering if you will find love. Well, in the first quarter of the year, you will find love towards the, the latter part of the first quarter. So perhaps in March or April, you are likely to find love uh, you're likely to start the year of feeling like something is missing or like you don't have um, some you don't have uh, what you all that you need in your life. The other thing I see here is that you may be uh, mourning or you may be wanting to cut away a certain type of person from your life. or You may be uh, working at cutting away old relationships from your life and you may be working on nurturing yourself, nurturing that aspect of yourself which you are really able to love. And then in preparation for that. Uh, what you actually find is that you do meet somebody. For those of you who are in a situation where you're not really, you do have someone, but you're not really with them, or um, you're not really sure about about whether you can be with them, it seems like there's an ending that's pending here. It seems like all you've worked for is in vain. And, um, well, I see that you actually uh, get a second return of energy here. You something comes up where you decide to give this relationship a second chance or this, this person a second chance and there's a chance that you can have a new beginning with each other here or maybe it's not really a new beginning but it's more like you can bring the warmth back uh, bring the love back into the situation that you've had before um if you haven't if you're not in contact with this person and you're wondering well will you be in contact with them then there's a good chance that you they will reach out to you uh there will be warmth between you um in the in the first quarter of the year if they don't reach out to you and you're sitting around waiting and you're hoping that they'll reach out to you um they are thinking about you yeah they are actually they are they are warming up to you in the in the latter part of the first quarter of the year so i'm going to quickly take a look at what happens in the um in the second half of the year i mean not the second half sorry the second uh, half of the first quarter of the year so you're looking at the months may june july august probably a bit of august so here i see that uh if you i'll, I'll give you the three explanations again so um here what i see is for those of you who are in a relationship with someone where there's this has been signaling the beginning of a new relationship or not the beginning but you know perhaps you're reviving an old relationship here 
Uh, what I see is that you go through a period of wondering and thinking about what it is that you are in. You may be in the, in the second quarter of the year, you may be wondering what it is that attracted you to this person in the first place. And you may be understanding this attraction in a very different light to how you understood it previously. So previously, you may have um, you may have been caught up in an attraction, caught up in something else, but there's a certain degree of maturity that comes to the, 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 the situation here. And you're able to have a good balance in, um, in terms of the power dynamic between you. And there's a lot of thought that you give to the situation. There's a lot of thought and a lot of consideration that you're giving to this relationship. And I see that you're wondering where this could go. You're wondering if this could go further and how it could go further. But at the same time, you're not actually able to give more of yourself at this point. You're not really able to move things along on your own. It's more like you're wanting this the, this to happen, and but you're not willing to open yourself up to it. So I feel that this consideration and this acknowledgement of the relationship having um, matured or having a new level of maturity is actually followed up with wondering where it would go to and then but but you're not willing to kind of let it flow into that new into the space so you know that is the energy that you'll be confronted with in the uh, you know come June uh, or so so the, these cards are basically January February March April May June, July, August, okay and and that's the way in which I'm reading this this uh, set of uh, cards here. So they roughly, you know, the kind of experience that you'll be having in, in these months. And what I'm, what I'm seeing here is that come July, August, you'll need to be working on freeing yourself. You'll need to be working on finding this, this feelings of gratitude and love that you've had here at the beginning and seeing how you can actually make this work for you. So in the second half of the year, Wow. Okay. So in this is from basically from um, basically um, I would say the same energies of August, uh, September, October, November, um, here, and oh, oh, basically um, it. You know, I'm not really going to say that each card is specifically the energy for a month because that's not how I'm reading these cards. But rather that uh, this is the energy in the third quarter or so, or this is the energy in um, perhaps also from a bit of July, August here, um, September, October, and November, okay? So um, although the, the cards that are coming thereafter are basically um, November and December energy going on to 2020. So we, what we're looking at here is that there is a stubbornness that year that you're exhibiting in in your situation and um i just want to go back uh here if you were not in a relationship here and you were by yourself and you are uh hoping to meet someone i feel that this you might have met somebody here and uh it might have been interesting for you but somehow you've withdrawn from this person or you've gone into yourself whereas they are open to moving things along with you and then like you've grown gone into yourself but yet you're still wondering what's going to happen between you and this person but you're sending the wrong signal out because the signal that you're sending out is that you actually don't want to have some anything to do with them even though they can feel the attraction and the warmth from you um for those of you who are hoping to still hear from someone or you're still wondering if you can revive something in, in your love relationship, it this is for the second quarter of the year. Um, what I see here is that this person is open to, to having something with you. And you, you might have thought or might have spent a long time considering how you can move things along with this person, but you're too much in yourself at the moment in this time of the year. And, and that you may be wondering how to bring things along, how to move things along, but you're not actually allowing that progress to be made. So this is the situation. I mean, this this meaning is applies in all these scenarios, whichever scenario you are in. Um, the second quarter of the year is, should be dedicated to you working on yourself, making yourself, you know, healing yourself, 
allowing this love to come into your life, allowing yourself to be enveloped in this love. And, um, you know, if it isn't that you've met someone else, then recognize where it is that you hold yourself back from actually being with someone else because you certainly have people who are interested in you and looking at you here. So just by the way, I read the cards clairvoyantly and I also read the cards my, in my own way. And so if you're coming here for traditional uh, tarot explanations, then uh, you you won't get that um, in, the, in any of these readings here. So um, in, this, in the second uh, half of the year, in the first, in the third quarter of the year, what I'm seeing is that this kind of stubbornness that you have here uh, is actually something that... Um, you finally let go of and uh, you finally come to terms with someone. So if you're in a relationship with someone, I see the king and queen of cups here and I see the happily ever after card here. So you actually, I see, if you are, if you have been grappling in a relationship, if you have been having difficulties, that stubbornness continues until you actually come to a point where it can't go on any longer, where it destroys itself. And you can find yourself together with the one that you love but with the one that you in a relationship with moving along in a happy, happily ever after path. Once again, if you've not met anyone um, here with, if you're single and you have not met this person in the sec, in the first quarter of the year, you're likely to meet this person in the third quarter of the year. Okay. After you've done this kind of work on yourself here, after you've been considering where it is that you stop yourself from actually um, being in a relationship. And, um, yeah, if if you if you actually have met somebody here and things didn't really work out, uh, there is a scenario where you find the balance that you have within yourself after working through your own stubbornness and your own difficulties with your own battles within yourself, and you actually feel and find your way, uh, find yourself in a happily ever after situation with yourself. You're satisfied with all that you have. So if, when you start the year, for those of you here, you start the year year with the feeling of that you there's something missing. This it's like a level of dissatisfaction with all that you have, even though there is much that you have and there is much to be grateful for. But then in the third quarter of the year, around September or so, um, you are actually experiencing this completely and you, you're you feeling very fulfilled within yourself. And it, it might not be with regard to material matters, but you're certainly feeling the happiness. Um, the happiness is coursing through your veins. That is what I'm hearing. Okay, and... The, then in the latter part of the year, so this may be October, uh, November, and December, I see that you have a new beginning here in truth, and you also have the strength card here. So you might have been, uh, you might be fighting some battles, or there may be some banter, there's maybe, maybe some difficulty here, where you feel you need to defend yourself, you need to defend your honor, you need to defend who you are, you need to defend what is right by you. And I feel that you this gives you a certain strength to be able to begin a new here. So it might, in some cases, this may be that this relationship that you've been nurturing through the year that you've been in a good place with actually goes into a better place of strength. And in, there's a new beginning here in terms of truth. And you work through the difficulties that you may have had, some some challenges that may be facing the relationship. In other cases, if things were not going so well here in this relationship, yeah, and there's been difficulties there, and it, there seemed to be a, a moment where it was all coming together, it might be that you know, you decide that you can't actually continue in this way and you break free from this person and you look in for your, your own strength. You try to follow your own path and you, you make, you create a new beginning for yourself here. So for those of you who are uh, single throughout the year and you haven't actually met anyone, you actually haven't been in a relationship and uh, you're not sure if you will be in a relationship, I feel that it will become irrelevant to you at the end of the year, uh, uh, approaches like as 2012 I mean sorry 2020 approaches you will find that um, it's irrelevant because you you find your inner strength and this new beginning that you set forth ahead of you is something that is is quite potent and it it brings about um, a very clear path for you you you've, it's very clear where you're headed it's very clear what you want and what you don't want here for others of you it might be that you know, if you've chosen to become married or be committed in a relationship, that you actually begin anew. Yeah, you have some difficulties, uh, but which you work through and you find strength from, 
and you set up a new whole new path and a whole new beginning year. But the end of the year, uh, coming into um, 2020, you re there's really a, a true sense of a new beginning. There's also a new, true sense of truth and what is right and what you need to fight for. And you have the strength that's here to help you along with that. So that's an actually a, a very nice reading uh, for you here because what I see is I see happiness and I see, uh, you know, you have really good cards. You've got the Sun card, you've got the Ten of Cups and you have, um, you know, you are contemplating, you are working, you are trying to make a sense of what's going on and you are dreaming about things and you need to just bring down your barriers and work on what it is, where it is that you're sabotaging yourself and also recognize that there is love that's waiting for you, that there is love that's out there and it is warm and it's waiting for you to be ready. And uh, yeah, for those of you who actually come together as a couple and make this, and you, are, you do find this happiness here, well, all the best to you and uh, much joy to you. And um, I just want to say that uh, in terms of what you ought to learn and what you ought to do here, uh, in love in the next year. Uh, the, the cards here, the nurturing, nurturing is important, nurturing of yourself, nurturing of the relationship. Yeah, here it is uh, managing your boundaries. Yeah, put down boundaries that are not, um, that are created some, uh, simply out of insecurities and out of fear. And uh, here it's control your temper, control your anger, manage your power. And here is put out what you don't want in your life. Get rid of what you don't want in your life and be clear about that. So that is my reading for those of you who've chosen um, this deck of cards here. And I'm going to move on to the next deck of cards now. For those of you who have chosen this deck here, the question we're asking is, what can we expect in love in 2019? What can we expect in love in 2019? Okay, here I see a situation where you may start the year off on, good, on a good note, where you may be meeting with friends, where you may be having good times with a loved one or with one who is a potential loved one uh, or with your partner. Um, but this person actually begins to behave quite unstably as the year, as the months pro, uh, progress. So these cards here are for the first quarter of uh, 2019. And what you can expect is that You'll need strength. You'll need to be mature. You'll need to actually take charge as far as love is concerned in this situation. Because as even though the year may have begun with promise and with good times, the person that you're thinking about, the person that you are wondering about here is actually not going to come forth in any way. Or they're going to be quite self-absorbed. They're, they're going to be not really thinking about your feelings and they may not, they may say things that may hurt your feelings. They may say things um, and be quite inconsiderate about 
uh, about you know the consequences of that. Um, you you're going to require quite a lot of strength and patience to be able to deal with this. For those of you who are looking for love in this situation, I feel that you may have found something that may you may think is love. You may have met somebody at a New Year's Eve party or at some birthday party in January or something. And you may meet them and you may think, okay, well, this is going to go somewhere, but then you don't hear from them again. Or um, you hear that, you know, they are very much into their work and they're professional and they don't, you know, really interact with others. And this, you know, it requires strength for you to be able to move on from the situation or for, for you to be able to process that. Okay, but I don't feel that this is such a huge kind of thing here. I think that this is something that can be dealt with quite with quite a lot of ease. Um, the second quarter of the year, uh, I see that there's, you're going to be thinking quite a lot. You're going to be, um, I feel that in the second half, uh, the second quarter of the year, not the second half of the year, you're going to be going through a process where it's it's actually a really important part of the year for you. Uh, there's a lot of ref reflection here. There's a lot of time that you take to be able to understand what's going on. You become quite clear in yourself about what it is that you want, what it is that you, you don't want, who it is that you are. You are in your grace and your dignity as a person. And you actually are in a good space, having thought about what it is that you want and what it is that you desire. But here... I feel that there's still a lot of worry, still a lot of concerns that come out of this. So it's like you've gone over a hurdle, like you've gone over a certain, um, you know, kind of battle. You've gone through a battle and you've come through that and you're successful. But then there's another one that you're still waiting for, that you're still, there's something that you're still waiting for. It's something that you are still um, trying to, having to work through here. And this requires a certain degree of, of transformation in, in you. It requires you to actually get beyond yourself in this situation to be able to move beyond yourself to be able to change yourself it's, it this situation doesn't just require you to be thinking or to be finding a rational logical solution to this problem which you do find with ease but rather you need to upheave yourself it's like you need to um yeah it's like you need to arise from the grave you know and this is um it's not that is the this is not that card but it, it actually um, gives me the feeling that you need to push something out of the water. It's like a whale that's jumping out of the water. It's it's making these huge waves and it requires a great deal of strength from you, which you don't really have here. So in terms of love, um, what does this mean? Well, basically what I'm seeing here, if you were in a relationship with this person here, if you're in a relationship with this person, okay, who's been acting kind of strange and difficult, you needing strength to deal with them, then even though you might have thought about how you can resolve this with them, and you might have been successful at doing so, there's still a lot of worry. There's still a lot of concern that you have at the end of this. And you require that it needs a whole change that there needs to be an ending of something and a beginning of something else but you're unable to actually get make that move at that moment if here uh it's simply that you met somebody that you're single and that you're actually wondering about you know uh, if you would meet somebody else but you're kind of alone and you're figuring things out by yourself here i feel that in this in around uh, from about april may june i don't believe that you'll be meeting somebody i feel that this is a great time of working within yourself, trying to find the strength that you have, understanding the qualities that you have, which makes you who you are, and putting aside the worries that you have, and actually like overhauling yourself in a way to be able to prepare yourself for the second half of the year. So I feel that these months are going to be quite intense for you. Like the first three months of the year are going to be... Um, quite easy for you quite low-key for you and you're going to sail through it and then these months here is, uh, are when the questions are going to be asked in terms of love and how to proceed and, and how to move ahead and it requires a great deal of strength from you which you have already it requires grace it requires clarity of thought it requires contemplation and reflection and it ultimately requires you to end something that you have not yet ended
So that is followed by a lot of relief and a lot of new energy. So I feel that you actually do manage to do this. You do manage to end something here. You manage to get beyond this because the energy of the second half of the year, the beginning of the second half of the year. So I'm, I'm looking here at um, these cards. I think it's actually from June already, this energy, then July and August. And there's two cards, two aces here, two new beginnings, two grand new beginnings for you one in love one in vitality energy um spirituality in terms of your career perhaps or your work as well and what i see is that amidst all of this what you're trying to find is your focus you're trying to not lose your uh, goals your sight of your goals you're not trying to keep your goals in focus because this has brought you uh it's kind of uh been like you know i was talking about this whale um, it's like a whale kind of splashing into the water and you kind of getting your bearings after that. It's like something's just come and taken over and um, blown you, blown your world. You know, it's like, it. yeah, sorry, I'm kind of, I have all these images in my head as I'm trying to channel a message for you. And it's sometimes difficult for me to actually get the words that I'm looking for. But it's basically like you pulled in one another direction completely by this love that comes into you so i think by the by you know july or august you would or even maybe as early as june you may meet someone uh if not if you're in a relationship already well then the love will be heightened during this time there will be an understanding of how to love you it here it seems like you've been through a kind of not a depression because but something, some, something where you've just really gone within yourself and needed to think about things. And I feel this is a kind of energy that many people would go through. Uh, this has also come up in a couple of the other um, decks, which I've read for already. And it's basically um, showing me that you're, you're spending a lot of time within yourself. Yeah. So the year may start off frivolous, then you're spending a lot of time within yourself. It's quite an intense, hectic period. And here's a huge new energy. It's like a lightning strike. It's like love is coming in and flowing and, and, and it's empowering you. It's making you feel very confident, but it's also destabilizing you because you just don't know where you should go with this. Should you go with your career? Should you go with your work? Should you go with your spirituality? Or should you turn around and give a, and look at this love and see whether it's something that's worth exploring? So with regard to the um, the last part of the year, I feel that the surge of energy here that you've experienced um, in the um, sec in the beginning of the second half of the year just pushes you quite ahead, and you're able to make uh, great strides and great progress in a very short amount of time. But you're still having to kind of recalibrate and understand what it is yeah what it is that where it is, where it is that you are and i feel that here you will have a sense you will still be trying to do that you'll still be trying to figure out what your powers are what where it is, where your strengths are how it is that you're able to manage all of this because at the beginning of the year you have the strength already you have this control over yourself but here it's like you, it's a little bit off balance and you need to figure out why and i think it's connected to something with which you've been waiting for or something which you've been investing a lot of time in that's not actually coming to fruition as such but you do have the happiness there is something here it's just that there's a feeling that something's missing it's a feeling that you can't have all that you want it's a feeling that uh happily ever after or uh, you know the life that you dream of is within reach but you haven't re yet achieved it yet there was another card that wanted to come in this deck and so i'm just going to see if i can find it again this one okay so here we have another ace and it's the ace of swords and it's reversed so i think ultimately here there's this you know the beginning of the year starts off kind of not really here or there there's not really much going on and then the second half the second part of the first half of the year is basically a lot of work on oneself and a reflection contemplation and you know getting over your worries being able to renew yourself go through this transformation and then you have done that you managed to do that and you're successful in doing that but there's 
it's like it feels very powerful for me yeah and it feels like in a way it derails you because here you're still trying to find your feet and you're still you kind of feel disappointed because this has brought you such a lot of satisfaction such a lot of joy it's it's quite easy to you know after the the aftermath of this you kind of feel a bit down you feel a bit sad you don't really feel like things are going your way because things went so well and you want things to continue going so well but you know the pace of life has resumed to normal and i feel here you've got to be honest with yourself about what it is that you want you've got to be truthful to yourself you've got to ask yourself what is it that you truly want? Because what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is for some of you is like you've been waiting for this love to be and to come. Um, okay, so there's two scenarios, right? There's there's this person here that you might have met uh, and or you might know them for already for quite some time, but you spend a bit of time with them at the beginning of the year and you think, ah, well, maybe there's something that's going to happen. Then you go through this process here where you are healing and working on yourself and almost feeling like, you know, you're alone and that there isn't going to be love anywhere. But then here comes the love, okay? And when this love comes, it's like you're torn between what it is that you want and what it is that um, you think you want. And I see here that you need to be honest with yourself about what it is that you truly want. Because it might be that you don't really want this person. Yeah, you've wanted the love, but you've been in love with the idea of love. And that you don't actually want this person. Because I'm not seeing a person in all of this, you know. I'm seeing love. I see the idea of love. I don't, in any of the, in none of this, I do I see a person. I see you and I see the idea of love. And I see uh, your transformation. It's more like this love reading. This love reading here is not about love, but it's more about your own transformation as a person. And where it is that you need to heal in love and how it is that you need to balance your love and your work or your love and your career, your love and your identity, your sense of self and how it is that you need to learn to manage your power and balance your power and um, and harness your strengths and your, your skills and, and move along with them. And it requires you to be honest with yourself to be able to do that as you go ahead. Okay, so that is the reading for those of you who have chosen um, this um deck here for those of you who've chosen this deck here the question we're asking is what can we expect in the year 2019 what can we expect in the year 2019 So for the first quarter of the year, we are looking at January, February and March. Um, we are looking at a situation here where there is much needed thought and discussion and understanding about what is maybe a pregnancy, what is potentially a, uh, a situation where you're coming together um, because of a pregnancy and um, where there needs to be some kind of commitment like a wedding or something like this, um, due to a pregnancy. But it's as if um, 
perhaps the pregnancy doesn't come to fruition or perhaps um, you want there to be a pregnancy but it's not actually happening and um, it's destabilizing the relationship as a result okay so what I see in the first, in January February and March here uh, for those of you who, are, who do have someone um, and you are coupled is that like the baby theme could be a big thing here for those of you who are not at all in, uh, interested in, in being pregnant or having a baby or you, you, there's no chance that you will be pregnant or you know that that's just not out of the question I'm feeling here that um, what there's a sense of something lacking within the relationship like the relationship needs a new boost like there's something that needs to be said something that needs to be done there's uh, the relationship needs a rethink for those of you who are single and you actually are um, not with someone but you're hoping to meet someone the key to doing that is to spend less time with yourself okay to getting out and doing things with other people as well as to uh, pursue something that's creative pursue something where you are expressing yourself through your art through your words through your music through your uh, whatever it is that you do you, you know you may be doing uh, uh, travel tours but it's your art it's your way of expressing yourself and in doing so you will actually and being with other people you will actually meet someone who um, is not going to speak, you know, a language of commitment or something like that so soon, but this person's going to give you a sense of stability about yourself. Um, I don't see that you're meeting someone exactly in the first three months, but what I do see is that that's the message. The message is that if you're single here, the message is spend less time by yourself, get out more, do something that's creative or that you love doing, that is your art, and that will give you a sense of stability. And that's when you will meet somebody who will in fact uh, be the person that you are hoping to spend time with, okay? Um, for those of you who are wondering about whether you'll hear from someone or not, um, I'm, I'm hearing that you could actually hear from someone, uh, but it's going to destabilize you in some way. It's going to make you upset in some way when you hear from them. And there's something else here about uh, you needing to focus on allowing yourself to be who you are, okay? You need to be the empress here. You need actually to be the person that is in control of your life, that has the powers that you need to have, uh, that you recognize all that is beneath you and all that is above you. You recognize the divine um, a support that you have here and that you're surrounded by it and you recognize all that you have. And I feel that that is a, a great theme for you for this, um, for this first three months because if you don't recognize that, then the person that you attract in your life is not going to recognize, is not going to recognize that. And I think the fact that you haven't actually given yourself the acknowledgement that you deserve is, is actually also the reason that you keep yourself hidden away from others and no you're not going to be he's not going to land at your door or she's not going to land at your door and you're going to be out with them you know you're, you're going to be in a relationship with them it's not going to happen that way so the message here is to actually you know allow yourself to be who you truly are get out a little bit more and you know Create the stability that you need in your life through doing the things that you love, okay? So that is your message for the first uh, three months of the year, the first, or the first quarter of the year, actually. The first quarter of the year, you need to be focusing on, on, on getting out a little bit more and actually focusing on what is important to you. And um, yeah, as far as the relationship is concerned here, I keep getting this baby thing. Um, like it, it involves a baby, it involves talk of pregnancy, it involves... Uh, the uh, chance of uh, somebody being pregnant uh, or somebody wanting to be pregnant so I'm getting a lot of those vibes when it comes to relationships and I'm not sure of uh, what to say for those who are not who are in relationships but are not expecting a child I don't know what else what not what more to say rather so um, I'm moving on to the second quarter of the year so we're looking at like April May June um perhaps a little bit of July. So those are the energies uh, there around that time. And we have here a sense of a lot of words being spoken, a lot of 
things being said, a lot of things being said that are harsh, that are misconstrued, that are or the not that are not uh, taken the right way. Um, that you know, one's intentions or one's needs are placed uh, before the consideration of that other person and their feelings, and um, it's just it just leads um, you to be defensive. So what I'm seeing here is that. If you're in a relationship with someone, this is likely to be the case. Like in those months, I the advice is to just uh, be cautious in how you speak to the person um, because the words could be misconstrued. And um, I don't remember if it's a mercury retrograde or something during that time, but it actually is something which can be quite pot potentially quite harmful for your relationship because it sends you off in your your corners in you know your own corners and you're not able to trust the person you're not able to come forth and speak your mind and be able to have a conversation where you can actually uh put yourself in the line and be vulnerable here and actually make headway in that relationship and i feel that you become quite defensive as a result of it and perhaps the other person becomes quite um defensive as well and perhaps even a little bit aggressive uh, the other thing I'm hearing here is for those of you who are um, who are single and looking for love, at this point, it would be worthy for you to actually look at doing something rather than uh, meeting people and speaking to them, but like engage yourself in activities where you could potentially meet someone. Um, it just but where you'd be doing something, but not speaking, you know, like, like doing some sports or something like this. The other thing I'm hearing here is um, that if you're expecting to receive a message during this time, it's not going to happen. That person's being defensive and it's reflecting on you and it's bouncing on, off on you and you are being defensive as well. And that communication is not going to happen. And if it just does happen, it's not the right time for it. So let it go, you know. I think the months, again, I keep getting this throughout the readings, but the months of, um, from about April till the, July, it seems like the energies are quite um, rough. And it's as if, you know, you can't really make headway. Or if you do make headway, it's really that you're working a lot on yourself. So for your, your reading, it doesn't feel as if, you'll be doing um, so much work on yourself. It will be so life-changing for you. But it does feel like you can't really, like people don't understand you. You can't really get across to the person that you're wanting to speak to and that they are acting defensive and then you are being forced to act defensive as well. Or you are finding yourself acting defensively uh, because of words that have been said perhaps on their part as well. As the year, second half of the year comes in, we have movement and we have progress and we have actually some good cards here. So what I hear and what I see for those months of, say, from the end of July, August, September, is that um, things are going to be changing. Things are going to be shifting. So you're not going to be in this funk any longer that you've had here. Like, this is just, you know, funk. These cards are all, like, difficulties not really moving ahead not really being able to make uh headway not not being understood well um not having the stability you need um approaching others but perhaps being rejected or you know not being able to come forth from within yourself and i think that this is really a difficult period for you but as the second year as the second half of the year comes in we have a new beginning we have a new beginning in terms of you, what you might have been working on in terms of your creativity over here. You have also uh, uh, something where you feel very passionate about your work. You feel very, you, you're out to get whatever you want at all odds. And I feel that this is not really negative here sitting next to the Ace of Coins. I feel that this is actually a determination that you have, which you are not exhibiting here. You know, here you are almost derailed and here you're not derailed and it's like something shifts you know you have the wheel of fortune here and it's 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 reverse but um you something shifts something actually shifts you onto back onto your rails you know if you you're back on your rails you're back in charge you have clear focus um you need to perhaps uh take a look at your at your intentions take a look at what is the feeling behind this what is motivating you but in terms of love i feel that uh if you have if you were just meeting somebody in the just after the summer if you're in the northern hemisphere just after the winter 
in the uh, southern hemisphere, you actually are going. To, you you will have quite a, a fun time with them. You'll have quite a passionate, uh, fun, full time with them. Um, but it's not something that is is for the long term. It seems, but it is something that activates something in you. It brings something out in you. It brings life out in you. It brings growth in you. And this is actually a wonderful thing. For those of you who are in a relationship and you're asking, okay, wh what is it that, you know, what is it this really? Well, I feel like your relationship will, having gone through this, your partner would have also gone through something similar to this. Yeah. You would come out of this situation, out of this time, and you will be on, feeling new energies all around you. And you can choose to work on this passion that you have here in this relationship that actually brought you together in the first place on some level. Or you can look at where is it that this is actually exhibiting itself in a way that um, is working against your relationship and work towards the growth that you have here because you have the opportunity to grow your relationship here. All right. Um, you have the opportunity if you were looking at being if you are if in the rare occasion and I'm sorry to say this, but in the rare occasion that you actually lost your baby, you've had a miscarriage in the first quarter of the year, you actually have the chance to fall pregnant again here and to be able to um, have a baby again. You know, you have the, the chance to, to yeah, to be pregnant again. Um, if it's something that you wanted to fall pregnant here, but you haven't been able to fall pregnant, then there's your chance once again here. All right. So let's move on to the last um, cards here for the end of the year. And we have, uh, we have movement. We have um, a sense of where you're not needing to defend yourself any longer. You're not needing to stand up there and and defend yourself. You can communicate. There's communication here, and this is good communication. This is clear communication. This is not communication like here, which is misunderstood, or not said, not taken the right way, or misconstrued, or or actually just not really appreciated here's news here is communication here is our words spoken um that are loving and healing and welcoming and full of energy and it signals a good time and you're bringing your guard down and it's the end of hurting each other it's the end of of fighting with each other it's the end of actually harming each other and i think that here you actually have made progress like a great deal of progress for sure the second half of your year is going to be a lot better than the first half of your year you're going to be breaking down all these barriers that you've had here breaking them all down working towards that you have your fertility yeah you have your creativity that's giving you giving birth to something again you have the passion here that you've been afraid to have here because you've been hiding away from from it you have the um this uh, this communication which is resolved as well and you're breaking down these barriers you know you're breaking down these barriers that you put up there this defensiveness here uh with this card here you've taken a step back from that situation and um i think that you actually um go into 2020 with a good sense of uh where you're headed to and what love can bring you so thank you for those of you who've chosen this card, a deck of cards here. I recognize that, you know, uh, my readings are not all uh, rainbows. <laughs> you know, it's uh, I'm, I'm, I actually read uh, and, and get the information that I'm getting. And um, if you've come to my to my uh, to this video and you, you're watching this and you're offended by what I'm saying to you. Well, I want to say that don't be just use the information and prevent that happening in your life, because that's the whole point of doing readings. It's to be able to uh, do when you're doing predictive readings, it's to be, it, you can actually see what's going coming uh, along and to recognize that nothing is written in stone and you can actually change what's coming your way uh, by changing your attitude, by making different decisions, by working, by putting, by um, changing your input in a matter. So good luck with that. And, um, you know, uh, I hope that you are successful in all that you endeavor in this upcoming year. For those of you who have chosen this deck here, the question we're asking is, what can we expect in love in 2019? 
What is it that we can expect in love in 2019? Pardon. These two, these three cards flew out here. I'm just going to keep it at the side down here so that we can refer to them later. Okay, so we're looking at the first, um, the first months of the year we are looking at January February and March here so here what I find is that um, you need to pull back you need to actually rein yourself in uh, you're losing control here in terms of this love there's somebody here who's very very slow you think they're coming forth but they're actually not coming forth and they are not going to give you what you want. You know, if you're waiting for someone who you love and you're in a relationship with and you're trying to manage this relationship and you're trying to keep it all together uh, and you're expecting that they'll pop the question one of the, in one of these days or that they'll agree to marry you or they'll agree to take things to the new level, it's not going to happen. You need to actually rein yourself in and start seeing the wood for the trees here. And I feel that... Um, this isn't a matter about who's won or who's lost in the situation. It's rather that, you know, how is it uh, going to impact you ultimately? How much are you losing in the situation? I mean, I'm advised to say to you, how much are you losing in the situation? Um, for those of you who are not in a relationship and you're not waiting for someone, but you're just looking for love, I feel that there is still... Um, there are still burdens from the past that you were dealing with. There are still burdens from the past that you need to work through, that you need to get beyond. And I feel that you might have waited for someone to come along and they, they may have ghosted you or they may have ditched you or they may have um, not met up to your expectations. And I feel that here there's still healing that needs to be done with regard to um, getting over them you know you don't need to get back at them you don't need to take revenge um, it's not it's not even worth it to be honest so the advice here for you in the first quarter of the year is basically rein yourself in because the way I see it is that in the first uh, quarter of the year you're going to be wondering why are you feeling this way you're not going to be understanding you're not going to have an understanding of why it is that you feel this way and here it's like, just don't wait for anyone, okay? Don't wait for that phone call. Don't wait for this person to come forward. Don't wait for them to do anything. Yes, you can take control, but also don't um, don't actually put yourself on the line when you take control here. It's not worth it, okay? So I know that's, that's quite a specific message that I have here, but that is what I'm getting for these cards. Uh, for, the, for the second quarter of the year... That is from uh, May, June, uh, July, uh, or the, um, yeah, this is like more like January, March, and um, January, February, March, and years like April, May, and June. It may have a little bit of July energy though, because I felt that just now. I felt like a lot of May and July energy here. What I see is that you're needing to take a break from all of this and actually assess where it is that. You might have gone wrong uh, where it is that you may have been led astray 
where it is that this kind of strong energy here pulled you in an, in another direction where you just didn't have um, control anymore. And I see that you're taking time out here to kind of work through this. And in fact, you know, just, just taking a break from it all. It may be that you're going through some kind of transition. It may be that you're going through some kind of situation where you are having a breakup with the person that you love as well, but it's a temporary breakup. It's like you're having time apart from each other. You just have major arcana cards here. Yeah, you've got the hangman, you've got the devil reversed, and you've got the um, emperor here reversed. So this is also, uh, as it has been for some of the other uh, cards, I feel that this part of the year is actually going to be quite a, um, a strenuous time for us, you know, because we're going to be working through a lot of things. We're going to need to make decisions. Um, you, you know, Uranus would have been in Taurus already for one year and things would start to activate. Um, things would start to to um to move ahead and Taurus is, is ruled by Venus and um, I feel that maybe in love I think it it really affects our finances to a large extent but I think here in love it also impacts us it really um, impacts us so what, what am I seeing for you here well I'm seeing that you you need to rein yourself back here right and you need not to put yourself in the line any longer and that's the feeling and that's the energy that you have for the first quarter of the year in the second quarter of the year you're just taking a break from it all because you can't really go further you're trying to manage and rein in you're still trying to manage and rein in you must be a very passionate person because the kind of energies i'm getting here are like all over the place and you you feel a lot you feel very deeply you feel very intensely and uh, you just your your emotions change um, from day to day and you know you in the morning you may be feeling full of love and in the afternoon you may be feeling a great deal of hate for this person uh, if there is somebody specific here that you're asking about and I feel that you that you need to rein yourself back you need to hold yourself back once again and you need to place yourself on pause so to say um, and actually just manage these emotions don't let it become an obsession don't let it become an addiction the controlling aspect here you're trying to work out work this out for them while they're not actually doing anything is 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 kind of you know you need to stop that because it's going to become an obsession for you uh it's going to become like an obsession where you need to do this in order for you to be able to get what you want because you're so uh, convinced that you actually know what is good for them as well and maybe you think that they are twin flame or something and you think that you know you need you know what's best for them but it's actually you shouldn't do that you should just like take a break and and just let things come to you if it's love that you're looking for if it's an, a relationship that you're in if it's whatever it is in this from the the months of april to about july let it come to you you don't make any don't go towards it let it come to you because what i'm seeing here is that um for some of you this may be a situation where you're in, in love with somebody else's um, um partner and it's gonna end up in a disaster for you you know it's not gonna this is it's not gonna work out well it's not gonna actually go well so just hold yourself back here don't try to try anything new don't pursue this person if it's love that you're looking for just lie low it's not going to be a good time for you to look for it or to do anything instead spend your time looking at how what your patterns are in relationship what is your behavior what kind of where do you come into a comfort zone in your relationships or in your situations with people and also try to um, look at things outside the box but don't break any rules in the process. Okay, so that's what I'm hearing for you. For those of you, for those of you who've chosen this deck here, in that's in the second quarter of this um, of this year, uh, 2019. So for, for this is for uh, those of you. Um, well, so these cards here are for the second half of the year, but the third quarter. So we're looking at July, August. Um, September okay so what I find here is after all this upheaval and difficulties and um, you know trying to rein yourself in really being disciplined here really understanding discipline which is what I see here as well as here 
that here you actually have come to a place where you are feeling quite satisfied with yourself. You're feeling quite satisfied and you're feeling quite um, happy with yourself. And um, it's something that you are quite content with. Okay. And yes, we have another um, major arcana card here. It's the Emperor Reversed. And this is, I think, the third uh, deck of cards that I've been reading for this uh, series uh, in which I have the... Um, the uh, emperor reversed but basically what these cards are saying is that during this time focus on your finances focus on all that you've achieved at this moment if it's a relationship that you're focusing in in terms of your finances protect that which you have yeah protect that which you've built together and try not to be irrational about it try not to be again too controlling try not to impose your values upon another try not to rule the other try not to tell others what they should be doing or what you because because if it's right for you it doesn't necessarily mean it's right for them okay because that's going to be in the this is going to be quite a nice time for you and um the only thing that can trip you up is when you try to control the other person or tell them what to do or think that you know what they should be doing because uh regardless of your culture your tradition or whatever it is that inspires you to think that they, you know what is best for them, it is not true, okay? And this is where you could just seriously trip yourself up. Simply, um, in those months, the third quarter of 2019, simply um, look after your resources and all that you've created until now and protect, you know, protect your relationship without being too controlling, without being too suffocating. Uh, if you are looking for love and you're wondering, oh, well, when is love going to show up here? Well, I just, I feel that here there is a chance. I never read this card as love approaching. But um, I'm, I'm being told here that this means that for those of you who haven't met someone, that those of you who have chosen this deck, you would actually meet someone. You will actually meet someone here in these months. Um, you will meet someone and, but it, you be careful not to kind of push them away by being too, um, focused on yourself at that time. Okay. Be open to somebody coming to your life at this stage, but play cool and protect your resources without being too conservative or without being too, um, without being too kind of uh, miserly about your love or about your, 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 your circumstances, about what it is that you need to protect, okay? Uh, and so I'm just going to go ahead and look at the last months of the year and what they are bringing us here. So I feel that finally... Okay, this has been quite a, this is, 2019 is going to be quite a year for you in terms of love and in terms of yourself, you know, and just in terms of your well-being. Like, you, 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 you're using a lot of energy here and a lot of energy here to be able to get to this point where you're happy with your partner uh, or where you finally meet someone. And it's actually something that requires a lot of, energy a lot of work from you but what i see here is that you finally even through all this craziness and through all this madness here you actually come to a point where you are not feeling helpless in the situation in love any longer so if you were in a relationship this whole time and you ask him about your relationship you come to a point where uh you're not feeling apathetic anymore because you're not it, you, it's not consuming you any longer how your partner or your boyfriend or your girlfriend upsets you in this particular way okay the, this is where you come to at the end of 2019 you're no longer feeling helpless in the situation here you're feeling fairly helpless in the situation this is why you're trying so hard to control it also here you know you're trying very hard to control it still here you're obsessing about it but here it's like it, this is no longer the case. You're actually freed from this feeling of helplessness. And you're not feeling apathetic about it any longer. You have a renewed passion now. Uh, it's no longer dominating you. It's no longer controlling you. Okay. But there's these three cards that fell out here. And I'm really curious to see what they are. Because um, 
I have a feeling they have something special for you. Ah, there we are. Hmm. So, so for those of you who are, you know, if you've been struggling with this person that you've been living with, uh, or you've actually been wondering, waiting for them to come forth and they haven't been coming forth, and here you kind of become obsessed with them and it's difficult for you to cope with them. And here you'll be focusing mostly on your, your you know, what you've achieved or where you've come to until now. And then you finally are freed from all these crazy, intense emotions. What I see here is that you actually come together with this person, okay? And you actually try to, you maybe you move in with each other Maybe you even get married, or maybe you decide to get married. Um, it's like you have success finally with regard to this. And the success comes, it's not as, yeah, it may, the success may not be that you may not be getting married immediately, but you may decide that you're going to get married. Or you may decide, okay, we'll move in with each other, or it's spoken about, but it doesn't happen immediately because this is like a delay in the victory. Uh, but the, but I feel that the way in which this happens is when you put your sword down, when you actually stop fighting, when you actually have decided to um, be reasonable with your words. Yeah, use your words more carefully. Um, you know, and don't let don't let this be your focus. Don't let you you getting back at them for what they've done be the focus because that's not going to help you at all to get to this point here. So at the end of the year, you may actually have what it is that you desire, but you do need to um, you do need to mind your language, as they say. You need to mind what you say. You need to be able to you need to have uh, just proceed with caution because the things that you may be saying may be having a greater impact on that person than you actually realize. So that is your reading for those of you who have chosen um, this particular deck here. Okay. Uh, I hope that helps you in some way, and I hope that the months are not too turbulent, um, you know, in around May or June. Or, um, in, and I think, you know, it's going to be a bit turbulent for us all, and so we simply need to uh, be um, cognizant of that and prepare for that. So thank you once again for coming by, and I wish you a very good night, um, 2019. For those of you who have chosen this deck here, the question we're asking is, what can we expect in the year 2019 in terms of love? What is in store for us in the year 2019 in terms of love?
So basically here, what I see is that there is happiness for you in the first quarter of the year. They may be fun. You may actually meet someone who is actually very, um, who is actually a profession, professional, uh, who may be in the field of the military or medicine or um, law or may also be a bu bureaucrat. And I see that you actually have a really good time with each other, that perhaps you go out and you spend time with each other and it's, it's very enjoyable. But at the same time, I also feel that there's a, a feeling that this person has to leave and um, it's, it's a helpless feeling that you have that you actually you can't continue to spend this time with him. So you may actually meet someone over the Christmas season or the holiday season um, of 2018. And um, you may actually spend a bit of time with them till 2019 and then they are gone. Alternatively, for those of you who are in a relationship with someone here, I see that you may actually enjoy good times with each other, even though there may have been some uh, strict words being spoken before that. Um, these words are not spoken because this person is mean, but rather because they have a um, a better ideal in mind for where they're headed to and what they wish for the relationship. And what I feel is that you, you end the first quarter of the year, like so January, February, March, um, these months here until about April or so, you end the, um, the these months feeling like a little bit helpless, a little bit forsaken because you don't have this joy and this fun that you've experienced already so let's see what the months they are after bring you so here i see that you actually um uh if you're in a relationship here yeah if if this is it in this situation if you're in a relationship um I feel that you may have some good times, but you're not really sure of where it's headed to, and then you're not really clear thereafter. But for those of you who are just wondering, if you're going to meet someone in love, uh, there's a very good chance that you do meet this person. I feel that this would be like February. It could also be the beginning of March. Like, um, Yeah, I feel that this could be like, if you asking, will I meet someone in this year of 2019, there's a good chance that you will meet someone who will be there for a short time and will leave thereafter. Maybe they travel or maybe you find out something about them after you spend some time with them, but you really enjoy yourself with them. But it's something that you will find out that it's not irre irreconcilable. It's something that can actually be resolved. Okay. Here, for those of you who are in a relationship, I feel that uh, there's some control that needs to, to come into action. There's something that needs to be managed in this relationship, which hasn't been managed as yet. And one of you needs to actually take the take charge with regard to that. And I feel that when one of you does that, uh, this is necessary for this relationship. But I feel that once you've done that there's a sense that it's too oppressive to be in this relationship it's there's a feeling that you're not being heard that no one that this person doesn't see you or hear you or feel you and it might be that you feel humiliated and abandoned by this person and i feel that this leads you to actually walk away from this person or even at least make the decision to walk away maybe you don't actually walk away as yet but you're thinking about walking away so these this is in the second quarter of the year. So I'm hearing like April, May, June here. It could also lead on to July, but I feel like this energy lasts until about June. And uh, this is quite an intense time for you. Once again, like everyone who have read for in this period has had a, an intense time in the, in the second quarter of the year. And I see here that it's all for good reason, though. You know, there's it's all for a good reason, and that there is a misunderstanding here, um, and it can actually be resolved. So let's see how it proceeds. Um, oh, so so that was for those of you in a relationship. So for those of you who are actually uh, not in a relationship, and for following on from uh, those of you who've met someone here. If you met somebody here and you're wondering how things are going, I feel like you might have put this person on a pedestal or you might have actually started to like think too much of them. 
And they may have uh, gone away for a bit or they may have started pulling back because your energy has been like really um, full on with them. And, and you're wondering at this point whether you should leave them. Okay. For those of you who are wondering if um, you should walk away from someone who, from a relationship or you should actually, uh, if you're asking the question at this point, should I walk away from a relationship? Then the answer here is kind of yes. Yeah, give it a break. It doesn't mean you've got to walk away forever. It just means take a break from it. The other thing here is that if you're waiting for someone to contact you and you haven't been in touch with them for a long, long time, you admire this person, um, they some kind of prestigious person, and you're hoping that they would contact you or see you and uh, they, that they will be there. I think give up on that at this point because it's actually not going to be. They actually are not um, coming back anytime soon. All right. At least for those months. All right. So you can actually take a break from them. You can actually detach from them in those months. And then we're looking at the third quarter. So we're looking at the second half of the year and the third quarter. And what I see here is that, you know, you walking away requires a bit of these emotions here where you feel unheard. Or unnote, not noticed, or like your your needs are not being considered. Well, this is a situation here where you walking away requires some time of healing. It requires some time of you looking after yourself. It requires some time of you getting over that feeling that you've been deserted, getting over that feeling that you've been um, left by yourself. And there is a theme here, you know. It's like you've come from a situation where you've had some difficulties in your past. Then you meet somebody, you have a really nice time with them, but there's always the fear that they will leave. And you kind of like built up a big idea about them. And then you start feeling that they're leaving and you see them leaving. And you're wondering if you should stay in this relationship. And then here, it's like you nursing yourself. You're nursing yourself because... You've, you've actually always had this fear that's been that's not been dealt with. And it's become a self-fulfilling prophecy here. And I feel that you take time to actually think about this. You know, I think I think you, you take time to actually wonder. You know, for some of you, you may even be pregnant as a result of that encounter. And, um, or your partner may be pregnant. I feel that this is a time where there's deep emotions that come to the fore, deeper than this instance here, much deeper than this person here that you've met, uh, much deeper than this person here who you are thinking, um, you, who you're putting on a pedestal. These are emotions that come from a long time ago, you know. It's how have you been loved? How were you taught love? And those are the things that you're going to be grappling with in June, July and August maybe also September. I feel that after you come out of that, well, these are all cards of healing, okay? These are all cards where there's healing required. Here you're feeling out, ousted. Here you deep reflection and um, uh, ambiguity. And here is a card of healing, okay? But I feel that you will be uh, looking online or you will be searching for some kind of assistance outside of yourself at this point. So come uh, August or September, you will be searching outside of yourself for assistance. Or you may even, actually this was the first thought that came to my head, you may even be searching for new love online. You may actually be meeting somebody online. You may be uh, considering meeting somebody online. And it's something that, you know, you're out of this. So you've been in this process where you've been healing. You've been healing. You have come through that and it's a major turning point for you, this major Kana card that you have here. So you have the sun here as a major Kana card, and you have another one here, um, the emperor, and then you have also the, the moon, which is actually quite a lethal com combination, I have to say. So we end the year of 2019 where you have focus and you have an idea of, of where you're headed to. You've come a long way. Yeah, you've come a long way and you've been through quite a lot and you have a very strong sense of who you are and you're standing by yourself and you are not afraid to ask for help. 
okay? And you also, uh, you, are, you know where you're headed to. And this is the most powerful thing that you can have because no one can take this away from you. Whereas here, there's always the sense that somebody can take something away from you. It's like your power is in somebody else's hand. Somebody who travels, somebody who comes and visits you and then leave. Somebody who feels more powerful than you are because they can ignore you if they want to. And you are always asking the question, should I stay or should I leave? What should I do? Should I stay in the situation? Should I think about this person? Should I hope that they come back? Because look, we had this amazing time here and it's so wonderful and it's been so amazing. I can't be so that we cannot be together. We are meant to be together because we've had that. But you go through a process here where you've, you realize that you are actually what's important here. And there's, wow, you have your new beginning as well here. You know, this is not the first deck that I've read here where you have a brand new beginning at the end of the year and so I think like a lot of you are going to go into 2020 with a very clear sense of who you are and what you want and a clear sense of how to be able to get there you know it's like the sword here is guiding you through this maze yes your life may be a maze and yes you may have many decisions that you may need to make and you may have many responsibilities in terms of yourself in terms of this love and in terms of how to go ahead but in fact you can Go through this. You can glide through this with ease because you have the sword of truth here and you have the sword of that, that provides you with this courage. And having a good sense of knowing who you are and knowing that you cannot be toppled is actually really useful in moving ahead. You may even, at the end of the year, you may even uh, begin to um, work on a craft that you haven't worked on in a long time. You may be um, returning to some hobby that you may have had or you may be returning to something that you used to do a job that you may have had before you were ill here or before you began to focus too much on this relationship and um, before you needed this healing you may be returning to something you may also be working with somebody else in a team to be able to repair yourself to be able to move yourself ahead if you're in a relationship and you're asking about how will this relationship proceed well, I feel that there will be a new beginning in terms of this relationship as well. And I feel that here you have a very, you don't have a very clear idea, but you have a very clear goal. And you don't have an idea of how to get to the goal, but you have a clear idea of the goal itself. And I think that you could stand together and plan something and actually work towards that. Faith in your partner if you are in a relationship here, because I feel like a lot of people who have chosen this one are actually not in relationships. Um, they would have moved away from their relationship and be, and they would be on their own. But uh, because this person is just, you know, he's not, he or she is not meeting your expectations in this relationship. But I see, but for the few of you who have chosen this, who are in relationships and you're not leaving your relationship, um, it's important for you to move ahead, to plan, to understand where you're headed to and where it is that you want to let, end up together and to do so with a lot of faith in your partner because the faith is what's lacking here the faith is not is what's not allowing you to move ahead so that was it for those of you who've chosen uh this deck here i wish you very well and a lot of strength and a lot of well-being in your love life and in every area of your life in the year of 2019 thank you for coming by For those of you who have chosen this deck here, we are asking, what can we expect in love in 2019? What can we expect in love in 2019?
So for you, I see here that there's something that you and a partner, uh, I feel like for those of you who have partners or you have love in your life, there's something that you that is not come to fruition that you've been building on or you've been working towards. Perhaps you've been waiting for a long time for them to contact you. Perhaps you've been waiting for them for a long time to actually ask you to move the relationship to the next level or to perhaps if for those of you who are not in a relationship, so hoping to be in a relationship, this could also be a situation where you've been waiting for somebody to contact you and you felt that you'd build something with them, but it actually it hasn't really been the case and you haven't really, um, you know, come, you haven't really gotten that. But what actually happens is in the month of January uh, or of February or March of this year, uh, of 2019, that is, you actually, you actually get, get what you, it is that you've been waiting for. You actually been, if you've been waiting for communication, you get that. If you've been waiting for some, your partner to say, okay, you know, let's move in with each other, you're going to have that. If you and your partner have been building a business and you've been waiting to, uh, to receive the profits on it, you are going to receive that. And I feel that you're going to be very happy with this. You know, it's going to be something that makes you super, super happy. You are going to have what it is that you desire. And it might not be everything that you desire. Now, it might not be all that you wanted immediately, but it is in the right direction. And I feel that it does take away any sense of disappointment that you might have felt, any sense of things not coming to fruition, where you might have felt that, you know, you, it wasn't your turn yet. Well, it is your turn now, okay? And that is for the first uh, quarter of the year. For the second quarter of the year, I'm seeing here that you'll be juggling this. So it's almost as if here, it's like you've been waiting. In some situations, this could be the case, but please apply it to your given situation. Like what I see here is like, you might be in a business together. You might be like um, selling something together or, uh, you know, you, you may have business together, right? And then things kind of like after a long time of it not picking up here, it really picks up. And when it picks up, it actually, you, it's too much. And so... You'll be spending a lot of um, the second quarter of the first half of the year juggling. You'll be juggling and trying to understand how it is that you can manage all of this. And you're not sure about how it is that you're going to manage it. And someone feels like it's cracking, like you don't have control anymore over it. There is, you're still a couple, you know, for those of you who are actually um, in relation, in a relationship here, you are still a couple, you're still working together on this. You just need to work on your not being so, um, impatient and not being too, uh, kind of hasty in terms of your decision-making here and to actually inform your partner or to discuss things with your partner before you take decisions. And your partner, is, needs to be less sentimental or less needs to be less, um, you know, manipulative perhaps. Perhaps he's trying to manipulate the situation for your better, for your well-being. But in, in terms of not speaking to you about, about it, uh, what's happening is that you are not, don't, you don't trust him anymore or you don't trust her anymore. And you're just, you know, becoming really angry about, um, about that. You're really becoming sad about that. So, um, this is something that, you know, there are challenges here. There are, there are challenges here that you need to work through in the second quarter of 2019 as a couple. For those of you who are single, well, it might be, and if you've been waiting for someone, okay, for a long time, uh, they might have come back into your life in the first quarter of the year. And then here, it might be that they are, they're not really behaving the way that you expected them to behave. And it's like your, your hopes and dreams fall below your expectations, but you are happy that they contacted you. You're happy that they are, have contacted you. You're just sad that they've come for, it's like they've deteriorated since you've last seen them. It's like their life is not as simple as it was before. It's like there's somebody here who you haven't had contact with for a long time. So forgive me, I'm just giving a lot of explanations here because the, so many of you will watch this and I would like to be a little bit more specific for you rather than just simply read the cards or simply give the energy. But um, I'm getting a situation here where this uh, person is, is, you've been waiting for them to contact you for a long, long time and it meant so much to you that they call you or they contact you and then they do contact you 
And lo and behold, their lives have deteriorated a whole lot. They are not as happy as they were and not as simple and uncomplicated as they were when you met them. And things are not so easy. And they seem to be very emotional. And you don't quite understand that. And so what happens is that it's like you misunderstand each other, but there is still hope here. There's still hope for this good communication, for things to come together. Because you're standing together here. You, you're both in a position where you're not being your best selves, but you are standing together here. And that's a very good sign. For those of you who are not waiting for someone, not wondering, not, I mean, not waiting for somebody, not wondering if somebody will come back, and you're just basically wondering if somebody will come into your life. Well, in that case, in the second quarter of the year, there's a chance that you will meet a, a couple of people, uh, but none of them will actually fit your expectations. You might think they're a bit odd, and uh, you might wonder, why is it that you have not met the person that you want to meet or that you should meet? But here I see in the third quarter, uh, so in the months of, say, uh, July, August, September, um, here I see that you will actually have love. You know, you'll have true love here. You might even meet the person who's your soulmate. You might even meet that person who's your karmic partner, soul partner in this life, or that person who you define as your twin flame. Uh, you might actually meet this person. And I feel like this is going to be a wonderful thing for you. There's going to be a lot of love here. I've been doing love readings and this is the first time I've gotten the two of cups in all of these. And this is the last one I'm recording. And it's wonderful that around these months you will have true love. It doesn't show me that you're together. It just shows me that you have true love. Okay. So it's important always to say that because not that I'm trying to put a damp on your spirits or something, but sometimes I've, I've had myriads of situations where I've read for people over the last 15 to 20 years and this card comes up and you think you're going to be with that person and it's not always the case that you're going to be with that person but there is love this person loves you and you love them and it's pure love and it's beautiful but it doesn't always mean that you'll end up together so let's see what the cards say so here i'm seeing that you know you have your your love and the love is something that you want to protect but at the same time you are actually uh, working very hard at doing something else. At working, you it's like the force is too strong. It's like the force, like you are very excited, very passionate and very um, thrilled. You're quite thrilled about the situation, but it's like the force is really strong and like you um, you need to look at like, um, you, I don't, it's not like you need to do this, but it's like you're holding it back a little bit. You're trying to restrain it. Uh, the other thing I'm seeing is, I'm hearing is just for a few of you, it's like you're not ready for this. Like you think you're ready for this and you think that you've been waiting for this for so long and why can't it be the case? And you think you've been like through kissing all the frogs, but you know, but here you found the love and it's like you're hiding behind the fence or you're hiding behind the gate. You, you're you afraid almost because you can't believe it. It's too good to be true. There's a sense that it's too good to be true. And you can trust your intuition on that one because it is almost too good to be true. Not to say that this person doesn't have love for you, but this person is not actually, you need to learn a lot more about this person before you can invest your emotions on them, okay? There's more to this person than they are showing you. This is not necessarily a negative thing, but it's something that you ought to know. Don't think that you've seen everything. Now, when you're looking at this person, don't just think that you've seen everything about this person because there is so much more to this person, okay? The other thing is here, I think trying to push this person away without uh, intending to do so because you're too excited or because you worried that you might lose them or because this is so amazing and this just kind of blasts you out of this planet, you know, this love. So, well, congratulations. You find love. I'm very happy for you because it's great that you find love um, because I've been doing all these readings and it's just, you know, I haven't found one where the love is pure and true and real like this one is, even though there is something to be discovered about this person still. Okay, so here we have the last three months of the year. So we are looking at like October, maybe a bit of September, October, November and December, leading us on to 2020. 
And what I see here is that it's as if you'll be waiting. It's as if you'll be waiting. You'll be waiting for this person and you'll be wondering if they're coming back, if they're moving ahead or what is actually going on. And this may bring you to um, some kind of emotions which are not as pleasant. Okay. And it may feel quite overwhelming for you. It may feel quite overwhelming for you. And you may have the urge to fight with them. You may be yeah, yeah, you may have the urge to fight with this person or to be able to, you know, just basically um, argue with them about the situation. But I feel that this is something that it turns to a kind of loving banter. It turns into a soft banter. The fire and the energy and the love that you actually experience with each other here is so, um, is so vibrant and it's so full of life that it overcomes the difficulties that you have here. And it does make you feel overwhelmed. It does make you feel like it's sometimes a bit too much. But it, it you are, it's like you're always waiting for this person. You're not really sure about that. Um, the other thing about this is that, you know, you've got to, you've got to be careful about how you go about exp uh, getting to know this person. What I mean by that is that, you know, don't be, um, don't be tempted to, uh, stalk them online or something like that okay this is a card of caution um, with regard to that but yeah just don't be don't be afraid I mean don't be um, don't be afraid to just ask them yeah thank you spirit don't be afraid to just ask them outright uh, what is it that they are doing what their intentions are when you get along a little bit along the way for those of you who are in relationships and you're not actually meeting somebody new here, well, it's important not to imagine that they're going to be something that they are not here. Yeah? It's because they're showing you this love again, because they're promising you the world, because they have all this pure heart and this pure emotions that they're giving to you. It doesn't mean that they can be your knight in shining armor. It doesn't mean that they can be your princess. Uh, it doesn't mean that they can be this person but don't hold them away from you don't fight with them because they're not exhibiting these values or this these values here you know this knight in, in yeah but over this this princess your your ideal person have a little bit more compassion with regard to them and with regard to here i feel that you know it might be that if you're in a relationship it might be that your partner needs to travel or needs to go away or needs to do some things it may be also that they've said some things to you that you don't appreciate that they've been a bit honest about some things which you haven't really foreseen because here they were hiding it before and i feel that this is not something that should turn your world uh, upside down it's not something that you should you should really uh, worry about too much this is something that you can control. This is something that you, it's overwhelming for you, but you can manage it and you can control it. And you just need some time to kind of uh, absorb the shock, so to say. And you can get over this and you can actually, uh, you know, come through this and be okay after this. And this will be a, a good learning um, um, kind of role, a good learning opportunity in your relationship. So that's it for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck here, okay? And I wish you all a very happy uh, 2019 and may you all have love and may you all be loved and feel loved and know that you are appreciated. For those of you who've chosen this stack of cards here, the question we're asking is, what can we expect in love in 2019? What can we expect in love in 2019? Oops. What can we expect in love in 2019? So for those of you who've chosen this one here, in the first quarter of the year, we are looking at a situation where there'll be fairness. There'll be fairness in the way in which things were going. 
There'll be fairness in a fight or in a squabble or in a disagreement here. There will be, uh, there's a sense of being committed to something in the long term here. There's a sense to being, of being committed to something in the long term, of being able to understand what is actually going on in this relationship. Uh, there's a sense of being able to, wanting to understand why you're so single, why it is that that person walked away. Why is it that they actually uh, behaved the way they did? Whether it's a crush, whether it's a uh, love, whether it's um, you are single, you know, it's being able to take apart that relationship and understand it, research it, yeah? And there's fairness in that. There's fairness in that's come to you because you understand what was the reason that things were the way they were. And you also understand that um, there need not be these squabbles. There need not be these difficulties here. That it is something that can be controlled and can be avoided if need be. So that is the message for you, regardless of whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, or whether you are looking out for someone. There is a sense that you are exploring and understanding better what it is that why it is that karma works the way it is, why it is that things worked out the way it is, and understanding the other person's point of view as well, so that you can avoid this squabbles and this difficulties in the future, where you've gone wrong, you're seeing where you've gone wrong, how it is that you can avoid that in the future. Yeah. So here, what we have is a sense of... Uh, moving ahead, flying ahead, under, you, understanding a situation. You seem to me like a really a person who's really interested in relationships and the dynamics of relationships, like the psychology of relationships. And what I see is that you're going to be flying ahead with this and trying to understand how it works and what actually, what is it that you need to do? What is your contribution to it? But I feel that this is, it's too premature and you actually stumble here because I feel that you don't really receive the closure that you're looking for. You're not able to put an end to this here. You're not able to really uh, deal with this, with the justice that is that is promised here. So you might be flying ahead too pr prematurely. And as a result, you, you find the experience to be quite scathing. And once again, this applies to all of you, those who are in a relationship, uh, those of you who are single and looking for love, uh, or not. And yeah, I'm not feeling that you are meeting anyone in this time. You might meet someone here, which makes you feel like, you know, you're, they, they, they make your whole world, but then you realize actually that they leave quite soon after that. They come quickly and they leave quickly and your world like uh, falls apart. It might be, these mon months may be a bit, um, difficult for you to deal with because there's difficulty and pain here and it's like your world is upside down or you're not really receiving the satisfaction you you deserve and there's somebody here who you may meet for those of you who are single who comes in and leaves pretty quickly and they 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 just you know they have their own agenda and so i feel it's this nurturing here that you've been doing this hard work that you've been doing to kind of understand things it actually doesn't serve you ultimately, or you feel, sorry, you feel like it doesn't serve you, it does serve you, but you feel like it's not serving you when these, when, when you're having this experience here. And so that is, uh, yeah, if you're in a relationship with someone, it might be that your partner has to travel a lot, or it might be that, and this brings you to feel like, you know, your world is not complete and it, it actually devastates you. And you feel that it's maybe not fair, uh, I think that, um, yeah, I think that that basically covers it there. So moving on to the second half of the year, and we're looking at the, the third quarter. We're looking at the months of, um, let me just feel, what is it? I'm feeling this is until, uh, this energy here is until September. This is... Um, like a new beginning for you here you have a new beginning you have good things happening with you you have a sense of, of um understanding i'm hearing also that you have a sense of fidelity uh there's a sense of yeah fidelity there's a sense of someone being faithful there's a sense of someone being there for you in the way that you needed them to be there and there may also be a reconciliation but it may not be a reconciliation where you understand where you come together but it might be a reconciliation where you actually uh, have a new beginning as a result of this reconciliation. Uh, 
this is actually, these months are really uh, fortuitous for you. The months of, uh, I would say from May, June, July, perhaps, yeah, perhaps a bit of August as well. Uh, but as as the, the cards said to me, this energy lasts until September. And uh, yeah, I feel that you come through this year. And the, the time scales I might be giving may be a little bit off because they they are, it's like I'm hearing that they are for two different types of people. So for some of these people, some of you that have chosen this deck, these this energy here, this new beginning, this happiness, this feeling of knowing, this um, a reconciliation may actually occur for beginning around May and may continue till about September, okay? For others, it may just begin around July or so and continue till about September, October, all right? So there is a sense that there is somebody here, okay? This person, this is a more mature version of this person here. This person's not running away any longer. If it's the same person, they're not running away any longer. They're offering you fidelity. They understand what it is that they can give you. And they, it's like a kind of reconciliation, but it might be reversed here because it's, maybe you never really got, it became, came apart from each other. Maybe it's just, a sense of new beginnings in a new way and you have this new beginning here you have this fun you have this good times that are ahead of you and you can actually approach this with a lot more um ease than you have already so as we head off to the end of the year we have a situation here where you're not really clear about where it is that you're headed to remember you have this new beginning here right that new beginning is showing up here again okay you have this new beginning you have a sense of what it is that you want. You have a sense of where it is that you're going to. You may have thought, should that work better? Will that work better? Will that work better? Or will this work better? And it may be something with regard to your children, if you have kids. Um, yeah, I'm just hearing that here yeah, for some of you. Like you may have needed to make a decision with regard to your kids, and you haven't actually done it as yet. But at the at, come the end of the year, come the end of 20. Uh, 19 as we're moving into 2020 you have a good sense you don't have that new beginning as yet you haven't actually put this into action as yet but you do know where you're heading to and you do know what's the right decision to make with regard to the relationship with regard to the child and it's just a matter of being able to prepare yourself to be able to uh, begin anew the other thing here is there may have been a sense of um, the relationship in some level or something about the relationship that you're in uh, may actually suffer some kind of um, financial loss. You, okay? you, you might be that you've been building up or you've been saving up money together as a couple to be able to do something here and that the money is lost somehow. It's lost in... Uh, you know, so maybe so I'm not hearing that somebody's stolen it, but it's lost because, you know, there's a bank that went down or something like this, or you're just not able to uh, keep it like it's just gone or you needed to pay for something else, I guess. Um, but there are, there's many reasons why. But it's like the relationship has suffered as a result of that. And um, we're well, not really suffered, but the goals of the relationship have suffered as a result of that. And you need to this new beginning is delayed. So you may have wanted to move. Okay, you may have wanted to travel or wanted to move. Uh, and yeah, and this has been delayed because this money is not there. So that is actually what I'm hearing for you, for those of you uh, for, for who asked about love in the year 2019. The other thing I'm hearing here is that uh, for those of you who are single and wondering what is this about, well, it's a new beginning where you know exactly what you want. It's a new beginning that you can give birth to. And it's like, don't cry over the spilled milk. Just move along and actually um, do what it is that you you know that you should be doing. Okay? And as far as love is concerned, uh, I'm hearing that love will follow for those of you who are single. Um, it'll follow this. Once you've made this move here that you were asked to make, once you do this thing here, which you know what you, it is that you need to do, uh, you will actually find love in your new place or wherever it is that you're headed to, whatever whether it's a destination, whether you're moving home, whether you're moving a job or whatever, love does await a little further down the line. Okay, so thank you for those of you who've chosen this one here. I'm wishing you a fabulous year ahead for 2019. And I hope that you actually get, get all that you 
need and all that you desire. And I also hope that, um, that you use this reading as a kind of warning as to how to proceed as opposed to uh, understand, seeing it as being set in stone, you know. Uh, this is just um, the energy as I read it now and as it is from where you are right now. And you can change this at any point along the way. So thank you for coming by and participating in this reading. And a very happy 2019 to you. So once again, wishing you all a fabulous 2019. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.